we want to get a close-up in here on Matt, he's on his knees. His toes are down and laces are down, as you can see. He's not up on his toes. We can't do that. The ball stays high. What's going to happen is Matt's going to let the ball come back down to his chest as he does. Walk through it, Matt, as he does. He drops back and gets a quick stretch here in the core and the hip flexors and powers the med ball out as far as he can. When he powers it out, I see where he tosses it, and that's where I get the recording. As you saw, what happened is he ended up in a push-up position. That's how you're going to end up as well. If your knees come up off the ground, it doesn't count. You're going to have to do it again. All right, Matt's going to start off on a line, and I've got a tape measure here. Our goal is he's going to get a couple of quick drops in. So all I want you to do, Matt, is be here like this and kind of rotate. When you're ready, you power your arms out and power your legs up in the air and land in a good position. Ready? Power out as far as you can. And good, and a good landing right there. If Matt were to ever fall back on that, I'd have to do it again. If he can fall forward, we'll actually see the drill right here. We'll still mark it and take that score. So what you want to do is get the arms involved as much as you possibly can, drive those knees up, and get out as far as possible.